Maybe Jill, uh, uh, Jill, on top of her already somewhat busy, maybe very busy schedule, uh, took on the role of uh, chairing this particular effort, and uh, I just want to again express my appreciation. Uh, and the steering committee, uh, again, uh, participating and keeping everything on track here. All of those who are uh, members of the steering committee, would you hold up your hand? Uh, there you go. So you can get some idea of uh, who was involved in that activity. And if you have some suggestions and ideas, they would be uh, welcome to receive those as well. Uh, one of the first steps after forming the steering committee uh, for this project was to put together a survey of the membership to uh, uh, collect the ideas about what agriculture and applied economists feel are the priorities. Okay? Uh, most of this was done during March, uh, distributed to AAEA members and uh, to USDA economists. Um, we had two major appeals uh, for responses here. Uh, we received a total of 177 responses, which if you calculate that on a percentage basis, isn't very good. But when you look at the complexity of the questionnaire, I'm afraid that several folks opened it up and said, uh, no, I don't want to take the time to do this right now. That could, that could, that could have happened once or twice. You can see here that the responses increased or spiked right after we sent out the reminder notes. Um, uh, one of the key questions was what do people feel are the critical problems facing society? Uh, we went through and listed those and classified them and uh, this gives you a pretty good idea of what that response looked like. Um, the uh, <coughs> Listing here is in order of the frequency of responses that we received. So the largest frequency was climate change, followed by sustainable and efficient food production, uh, food security, hunger, malnutrition, obesity, uh, those issues uh, lumped together was in third place. Wealth distribution or uh, uh, income inequality and poverty uh, was next, and then environmental issues water availability and scarcity, consumer perceptions about technology. Uh, those were the, the, the top responses. But there were lots of responses and lots of different ideas that came in as a part of that survey. Uh, so uh, the, the, the big questions here were, first of all, what do you think is the critical problem that we just talked about? Then we followed that with, given this critical problem, what question, if answered, would contribute to solving the problem? How will answering this question lead to outcomes that will help solve the problem at hand? And uh, what role, if any, would a multidisciplinary approach play in answering this question? That's one of the things that we wanted to get a sense of uh, from the membership. Uh, a complete set of survey responses is uh, available, or will be available, I should say, online. I've got to get a couple more things posted, and that will be available actually this afternoon. So you can uh, go to this website, Fair Priorities. Food, Agricultural Resource, Economics, uh, Priorities, at WordPress.com. And we'll get that information out to you electronically as well. That's one of the reasons why we're passing around a sheet so that you can sign up with your name and email addresses. Right now, where is that sheet, please? All right, good. Keith has it, and he's going to be just uh, sending it on back uh, to the uh, rear of that side of the room. All right. Uh, the next event then, building on the survey, was the Priorities and Solutions Workshop. Uh, we organized ourselves into six different work groups. Now the idea is that these weren't to be the priority areas. These were work groups, a way to organize uh, folks, get them broken into some smaller groups to talk about what the priorities were. And the facilitators and the recorders are listed here. Uh, before we broke into the workshops, we invited some folks to give us some uh, motivation. And so we uh, had these provocateurs present what they thought were important considerations here. And uh, you can see the list of names, uh, and uh, that did a good job of setting the stage for our discussions and that took place later in the day. Here are the proposed priorities. There are eight of them. You will see them in different order, is in different places. The reason for that is that we don't necessarily have a rank, okay? 
Um, if we were asked, we'd say, yes, we think all of these are important. And different ones are going to be important to different people. And so we'll, we'll be ready for that, OK? Um, what we're going to be doing uh, here a little later after Mary Bowman's presentation is uh, to ask for reports on four of these. We don't have time to cover all eight. Uh, and so the, and these four aren't, again, necessarily the most important, but we're going to ask uh, Abby and Norton and uh, Norbert and Will and Keith to uh, uh, give us some thoughts about why they think these particular areas are most important and what some of the key questions are. Timeline. We're right here. The best way to look at this is going to be to go to the last page on the handout. Uh, that shows this chart in more detail. And you can see where we've been and where we're headed. All right? So we look forward to uh, working with you on this, and we want your feedback. That's what that survey form is all about. Get that to us uh, as you leave this meeting, if you would. Now I'm going to ask uh, Karen to introduce our next speaker. Mm -hmm.